Where has the past year gone? It was just eight months ago when 338 of you arrived on campus to begin the school year with aspirations, a multitude of talents, desired pursuits, and many opportunities to find success. The administration and faculty were ready, willing, and able to help each of you achieve your potential in the classroom, on the athletic field, and in extracurricular activities. Goals were set, strategies were mapped out, and the journey began. Now we find ourselves in May, the month of 100 days or so it seems. It brings closure and completion to the many endeavors of the past months. The six formers have heard from and replied to the colleges and universities they will attend in the fall. Two weeks ago, we welcomed over 100 grandparents, and 26 of our students were confirmed by Archbishop Blair. 120 colleges participated in our college fair and workshops, and the week ended with Spring Parents Weekend and the annual Spring Musical. That's not a student. Students, please turn off your phones. Uh, during that time, 112 students took 206 AP exams in 18 different subjects. In the next few days, those students who have applied for positions as sacristans, proctors, lead ambassadors, and other leadership positions will be appointed. Our annual chorale and instrumental recitals have been performed to rave reviews. And our AP art students had their year-end show, demonstrating both their work, effort, and their creativity. Following our prom and headmaster's holiday, the faculty and sixth form students gathered for one last dinner and listened to the emotional and compelling words of faculty member Patty McCarthy, class of 1994, as he helped all of us understand the importance of staying the course even in the face of setbacks and adversity. On that same evening, Victoria Rio was named the recipient of the Class of 1987 Citizenship Award as voted by her classmates. Last night, following a nail-biting lacrosse game in which our boys defeated Gunnery 9-6 for a second consecutive Division II Western New England Championship, we recognized and celebrated our athletes who attained a level of excellence, having demonstrated effort, skill, sportsmanship, improvement, and desire in their chosen pursuit. Today, we come together to recognize and acknowledge those students who have excelled during the school year in the classroom, in the dormitory, in extracurricular and co-curricular activities, and other areas of Canterbury life. These students are not individuals who achieve their goals by just showing up, but fellow classmates who have persevered, often through challenges and even setbacks, to improve themselves, support the school's mission, and serve others throughout the year. Their accomplishments recall several quotes to mind. One from the Latin author Seneca. Non est ad astra molis a teres via. There's no easy way from earth to the stars. And from Virgil, Dorate et vos met rebus serate secundus. Endure and gird yourselves for more favorable accomplishments. These students strove throughout the year to achieve their lofty goals, even if it meant leaving their comfort zones and actively taking risks that have thus led to great successes. While we acknowledge and applaud them, this morning. Let us also recognize them as models for what each of us can achieve if we apply and dedica dedicate ourselves to loftier pursuits and not settle for what is safe and comfortable. Their journeys have not been easy, and for many of them the roads were long and arduous, but they indeed have reached their stars. 